The minute I developed my first roll of film and made my first print, I thought, this is mine, this is for me. It was a magic that I could control, and I still feel that way. Guerrero had a real natural gift. I mean, how else could a 22-year-old start taking perhaps the most telling photographs that have ever been done of Wright's architecture? First job I had after I left school after two years was with the world's greatest architect. Pedro's photographs taught me who Frank Lloyd Wright was. He ran a photo lab in a small town called Cerignola, Italy, where they trained gunners to be cameramen. Pete was most certainly part of the what's now imagined as the glamorous madmen world of 1950s and 1960s. I worked for Vogue, I worked for Harper's Bazaar, I worked for Good Housekeeping, uh, almost every magazine that existed at the time. And it was, you know, it was glorious without much effort. My re recollections of Pedro was that he was more like Calder. He liked to enjoy himself, he liked to dance, he liked to be playful. It was chaos, it was a good word for it, but there was a, a uniformity to the chaos. He could see something and know how to photograph it. I walked into a world that was black on black on black. He got in there and got it somehow. I mean, that's the mystery of an artist. I photographed Frank Lloyd Wright three weeks before he died, and, and Alexander Calder two days before he died, and then eventually I photographed uh, Louise Devilson a few uh, weeks before she died. So I decided I'm going to quit photographing artists. I mean, they're going to say, here comes Pedro Guerrero, for God's sake, go hide. 